Hi and welcome back to this new video tutorial of WooCommerce. In today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out WooCommerce mobile application there itself. So basically what we have done here is that uh, uh, we have uh, created the mobile application for the Android and the iOS devices that is based on the latest Flutter technology there. So now you as a, a business owner, if you are running a web store that is based on the platform, that's the WooCommerce, then what you can do is you can now have a mobile application that is based on the latest uh, technology, that's the Flutter for your web stores there. And this mobile application would be available for both the Android and the iOS devices there itself. So in today's uh, particular video, what we'll be doing is uh, we'll be checking out the workflow of the uh, WooCommerce mobile application on the Android end and we'll be seeing how the different banners, carousels, featured categories, featured products, uh, notifications and the external links, how they appear on the mobile end there on the Android device. Apart from that, we'll also be seeing after the login, what different account panel options that the customer get, how the customers would be able to place the orders using their mobile application that too on the go there itself. So now the customers don't need to have a laptop or a desktop to access your website. Now they can make use of the Android or the iOS devices and can install the particular mobile application for the same and can access your store on the go there. Now you can also check out the particular demo for this uh, particular mobile application that we are going to check today for the Android there by going to the Play Store and searching for the WooCommerce mobile application and downloading it up on your Android devices. I'll also be putting up the link for the iOS uh, end in the description of this particular video as well thereafter. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial today, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So let's hop on to the uh, front end first on the Android end and let's see how the particular mobile application for the WooCommerce appears to the customers or the users there on the mobile device itself. For the same, let's hop on to the front end now. So right now you can see that I'm on my Android device and I've already downloaded the WooCommerce mobile application for the, from the Google Play Store itself on my Android device there. Now we'll be checking out how this particular mobile app appears to the customers there. For the same, let's uh, tap on the particular shortcut that we have on our home screen of our Android devices there. So I'll just tap here on the WooCommerce app and you can see that first this splash screen came up and then uh, the uh, mobile application homepage has loaded up as you can see on your screens. Now here you can see that uh, as soon as uh, we open up the WooCommerce mobile app for the Android devices, uh, the homepage loaded very fast there and we have the complete sections uh, available on the home screen there. So the uh, very first uh, section here at the very top is the featured categories as you can see. So the featured categories can be added by the admin from the plugins configuration setting in the admin backend panel and can set up the featured categories that should be displayed to the customers at the top of the home page there. So here we are having the featured categories as you can see. If I tap on any one of the categories there, we'll be able to see the different uh, uh, products within that particular category. And if it's having any subcategories, those subcategories would also be displayed and then we can access the different products under those subcategories as well. So this was about the very top, uh, that's the uh, featured categories at the top. Then we have the banners. Now the banners can be added by the admin from the backend panel as well and these uh, would then appear on the home page of the uh, WooCommerce mobile application for the Android devices or the iOS devices as per the settings there. And uh, the banners can be of uh, two different types, one is the product banner or the category banner and if it's a product banner then uh, the uh, customer after tapping the particular product banner would be redirected to that particular product page. Else if it's a category banner then uh, after tapping on a particular banner that the customer would be uh, directed to the particular category there. So for example if I tap here on this particular one you can see that we are being redirected to a particular category there and we are able to see the particular products under that particular category itself. Now if we tap here on this Marshall one, this one is also a category one. So this one, this one and let's check this one. Alright, so we have added these as the category banners for now. Uh, when we are checking the backend configuration settings there in the next video, uh, at that time I'll be showing you how we can set up the product and the uh, category banners from the admin backend panel as well. 
Now, after that, we have the featured products. Now, the admin has the uh, uh, functionality there to add the featured products as well that he wants to feature up on the home page of the mobile application there itself. To do so, he'll be able to add the featured products from the backend panel of uh, the WooCommerce itself under the particular configuration settings there. And those uh, would then be reflected here under the featured products. As you can see, here we are having the featured products. So under the featured products, we are having the complete list of featured products there. We also have this option to view all the featured products. If I tap here on the view all uh, featured products, then we'll be able to see the complete list of featured products uh, that have been set up by the admin there and we can sort them up uh, or we can also set them up. For example, if I want to um, uh, display it in a list, I can display it in a list or if I want to have it in a grid, we can do it for the grid as well. Then we have the new product section as you can see and uh, then we have the sale product section having the sale products on sale then we have the popular products and the popular categories. Now the uh, product carousels can also be set up by the admin from the backend panel there and uh, you can create the carousel and you can set up the name of the carousels like hot deals, uh, latest uh, trending products etc and within those carousels you, what you can do is you can add the products that you want to add as per the requirement there. So here we are having the popular categories and this is a customized carousel that we have added and similarly the other one that we are having here uh, uh, just let me scroll up. Uh, it's sale products, popular categories, uh, so on and so forth. We can add the uh, product carousels as well. And at the end, we have the option to go to the top of the home page there by tapping on the back to top option. So if I tap on that, we'll be taken back to the top of the mobile application there itself. Now on the top end, uh, you'll be able to see we have three different options. Uh, one is the search icon wherein we can search the product. So if I tap on the search icon, uh, we can search for the products by entering the name of the product. And if that particular product is available within the store, that would be displayed as for the requirement that itself. So for example, if I go with the brown, brown. So we have the brown shoes, brown bear notebook, and the Osses then watch. And uh, if I go back, then we have the notification icon. Now under the notification icon, uh, basically uh, the customers of the mobile, uh, the customers of your web store would find the complete list of push notifications that you have sent out onto the mobile devices there. And under this particular section, they can find the particular push notification. Now the push notifications can be all, also of two different types there. For example, uh, we can take it as uh, the product or category push notifications. If it's a uh, product notification, then the, after tapping on a particular push notification, you will be redirect, re redirected uh, to a particular product there. Or if it's a category one, then you will be redirected after tapping on the particular push notification to the category section that has been assigned to that. So here you can say that we have the uh, movie called WooCommerce, winter is coming and get ready. So if I tap here uh, on winter is coming, uh, we will be taken to a particular section. So this is a category push notification. So we are basically taken to a particular category there itself. Now, if we tap here on the get ready, uh, we are taken to a product page as you can see. So that was the category push notification. And this was the product push notification itself. On the product page, you can find the complete details of the product, like the name of the product, the price of the product, any ratings or uh, if any reviews given in stock, the details. If there are any product variants that would be displayed, you can change the quantity here. If you tap on the view all description, you can view the complete description. If you want to view the reviews, right now there are none reviews, so there are none to display. Uh, then we have the add to cart and the buy now button. Add to cart would add the particular product to the cart there. And the buy now button would basically redirect you to the checkout page so that you can quickly make a uh, selection there for your shipping and the payment methods and can directly tap on the place order thereafter to complete the order very quickly there itself. Now let's go back. So this was the top and then we have the cart icon. Right now the cart is empty so that's why it's showing it as uh, empty cart and continue shopping. Let's tap here on the continue shopping. The home page has again appeared. Now on the bottom end we can see we have the home uh, or the home page uh, section. Then we have the category. If I tap on the category, this would display the complete list of categories within the uh, web store there. 
and from here we can access any of the categories so for example let's tap here on the uh, backpacks uh, this will just be the complete list of backpacks there uh, for example if i go with uh, let's go with uh, any other one games and sports uh, then we'll be able to see the particular products under that particular category itself uh, here you can also see the category icons are visible there then let's come down to the account section now here you'll be able to see the option to sign in with your email or your username and you'll also be able to create an account or you can sign in with your social accounts like google and facebook as well now the sign in with the social accounts is a paid service there and it's not uh, within the default mobile application that we are going to provide you with and uh, to create an account you can tap here on the create an account button enter your username first name last name email password and tap on the create an account button else if you want to directly log in and if you are already registered there as a customer then you can sign in with your email or the username so you have to enter your username password and tap on the sign in button thereafter and lastly we have the more option under the more option you will be able to find the different website links that have been added by the admin from the backend panel, panel under the uh, mobile apps configuration settings now these apps are set up there and the title and the links can be set up the title that you set up in the uh, configuration settings would be displayed here so here you can see that the my account is the title the shop is the title and welcome is the title so here you can set up the website links like your uh, privacy and uh, terms uh, and conditions there uh, or uh, contact us can be set up and accordingly the particular pages for the same can be set up in the admin backend panel configuration settings for the mobile application there and whenever a customer taps on the for example if i go with the welcome he'll be redirected to the particular page that you have set up so for the welcome we have set up this particular page as you can see now let's go back for the shop page we have set up the shop page of the website for the demo purposes there you can set up the url as per your own requirement there so you can set up a cms page there that displays the uh, welcome page or the welcome details there and so on and so forth now let's see how we can log into the custom account there so i'll just tap here on the sign in with email i'll enter the details here and i'll tap here on the sign in button you can also add your fingerprint for your login as well for now i'll be tapping it as cancel and as soon as we have successfully logged in you can see we have different customer information section here uh, that includes the dashboard orders address book account information downloadable product and the delete account option so let's go through these options one by one the very first one is the dashboard now the dashboard displays your uh, banner image backend image your profile image so you can edit those up as well you can see we have an edit icon there edit icon is there so tapping that up you will be able to change the images there then we have the recent orders here if you go to the recent orders you will be able to see the complete list of recent orders that you've placed Apart from that, for the recent orders, you can check the details, you can reorder them, and you can write a review for those as well. Coming to the address book, you'll be able to see your default billing address and the default shipping address. If you want, you can tap on any one of them and the address book would be opened up. And there you'll be able to make the changes and you can save the address there itself. And lastly, here in this particular dashboard section, you have the reviews. If you have given any reviews for the particular products there, then those reviews would be available under the review section there itself. Now, let's go back and let's go to the orders section. Now, under the orders section, you will see the complete list of orders that you have uh, placed and the different uh, st status or the uh, status of, of the orders there, like processing, complete, cancelled, etc. Apart from that, if you want to view the details of a particular order, you can tap on the details and that will bring up the complete details of the order as you can see we had placed the order on the item ordered the shipping address billing address shipping method payment method the order total is there if i want i can also write a review by tapping here on the write a review i can give the rating i can enter the review for example best product best product i can submit it for approval Review has been added and review, review is awaiting the uh, approval from the admin and as soon as the admin approves this particular review from the uh, WooCommerce backend panel that that particular review would be available on the product page of this particular Apple iPhone 6 Silver itself. Now let's go back if I want to reorder it I can reorder it by tapping on the reorder option. So right now I'm showing you the workflow of how a customer can place the order. 
So after tapping on the uh, reorder there, the particular product would be added into the cart. So if I go back to the home page and I go to the cart there, you can see that the Apple iPhone 6 Silver has been added into the cart there. And if I have a discount coupon code, I can apply that as well. And uh, now let's tap here on the continue shopping. Uh, let me go back. I'm sorry for that. Uh, let me go ahead and let me tap here on the continue shopping. All right. There's some internet uh, connectivity issue right now. So that's why I'm not able to continue uh, shopping there. All right. Actually, I was tapping here on the continue shopping. So that's why I was uh, being taken back to the uh, home page there. I just need to tap here on the proceed button to proceed further. So now we are on the checkout page. Here we can see our default uh, billing address, shipping address. I can see the shipping methods available. I can select a particular shipping method. I can tap here on the proceed uh, button. And then we can choose uh, the particular payment method. And now we can tap here on the proceed button. And then we can uh, check the order review here uh, before confirming the order. And then we can tap here on the proceed button to proceed further to place the particular order within the store itself. After tapping on the proceed button, the order would be placed and then we'll be able to see the particular details of the respective order under the order section. So you can see that the order number is 1475. So if I uh, go to uh, the continue shopping, I go, go to my account, I go to my order. Uh, the top one is 1475 for $510. And if I tap on the details, you can see the particular uh, data is today's date uh, that's 6th of December uh, 2022 with the time as well right now coming to the address book uh, under the address book you will be able to see the complete uh, details uh, of your address uh, there and you can edit your addresses as well uh, then comes the account information under the account information you can change your first name last name your email address can be updated you can change your password as well uh, then under the downloadable products, if you have downloaded any uh, downloadable products from the uh, website there or the web store there using the mobile application, then those uh, or downloadable products would be available within this particular section and from here you can download the files for those downloadable products as well. And lastly, we have the delete account if uh, basically uh, you are able to delete your account as well and uh, deleting your account will result in removing all of the data of your account associated with the from our services there and this action cannot be undone so if you tap on the next button here on the delete your account then your account would be deleted from the web store itself and lastly if i tap on the log out button we'll be logged out so we'll have to tap on the yes log out on the prompt that we can see and tapping on the yes log out you can see that we have been successfully logged out of the mobile application there itself so yes, that was much about the uh, WooCommerce mobile application for the Android devices and I hope that this particular video helped you out in understanding how this mobile application appears to the customers and the different sections at the homepage and the different account panel options of the customer as well. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then you can give it a thumbs up. And if you still have any questions, query sessions or requirements regarding this particular plugin, then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvds.com as well. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.